Welcome back to my channel. No, the title wasn't clickbait and I will explain you why. Stay with me because this will be episode about how the scammers would like to get your money and how GoDaddy doesn't give a damn. A few days ago, I put my car on the website uh, for sale and within a few minutes after that advertisement went live, I got an email. And in the email, which I will show you just one second, you can see the details of the person who sent the email and the message, uh, I would like to inquire about your car and kudos to the platform provider for the car sales that they gave you this alert at the same alert i saw once i was placing an ad and the alert says we have been informed of a scam circulating where sellers are asked to obtain a vehicle history report with an unfamiliar website link please be advised this is a scam and then it says to obtain um, the vehicle history report from uh, reputable sources. So I replied to that email uh, by saying, Hi Bill, um, I have received your inquiry about my car. How can I help? Then the scammer replies, Great. Yes, I'm interested. I would like to ask some questions regarding it. Do you know its ownership history? So I replied with the car history from the report, which I obtained for myself. Um, and the scammer says, could you confirm whether there are any outstanding issues regarding the title or mechanical conditions of the vehicle? So I replied, there's no issue whatsoever. You can get the keys and drive away. So scammer said, and this is the point of scam. So this is the turning point. Can you show it to me on Friday? Yes, I can. If that works for you, let me know the time and location. Thanks. And now, and additionally, do you have all the documents ready, including the check report from this link, which payment method do you prefer so i know i knew it's a scam and i replied look this is the alert i got from the from the provider uh, and if you are a genuine buyer i can provide you a report from from the company i got the report from and of course this was the end of conversation few moments later i got another email very similar to this one but um I show you now. Um, so it was the same. I want to see your car, but do you have document? And the Robert said, "Okay, can you provide the history from this link?" Same reply from me. Uh, no, I cannot. I can provide you from the reputable source. And if you are not genuine buyer, you will end up on my channel, which you are now doing. And I got another email and another email was more crazy because the email had like a Aaron James, uh, but the person says, hi, I'm Christine. So I think the scammer like replied for so many emails that they didn't know which, um, who they are uh, providing conversation with. Anyway, I want to see what's going on with those links. I didn't know what the scam was. Um, was it the zero day malware, something else? So I built a virtual machine, uh, which is in the controlled environment. And I click, I open the link and the link shows you the website and it says auto inspect report and boom, misspelled straight away. I, I presume it was supposed to be since 2020, 
we've been con committed to provide detailed vehicle report, blah, blah. But there is a one issue which all person who bought or sold the car see straight away. There is nowhere to check your vehicle, actually. So if we open Legimit website, which I will do now, just a few seconds. So if you open any Legimit website, I'm based in Ireland, so that's why it's Irish flag, but it has the UK database as well. And let's put in a my reg number, which I already did, that's why it's already populated. And you click go, you will get information about your car. Very basic, but you will get information about your car. So you see, at a Seat, Alteca, the 1.5, uh, 150 horsepower, engine capacity, color gray. Cool? Cool. On the scammers website, there is nothing there. But I said, okay, let's let's have a look. Services. Like, look at this. Beautiful list. Okay, so let's click on the car, car history record. Reports. And we can see, you cannot see any details of your car, but you can buy report for 50 quid. So I try to buy that report to see if they are want to scam scam you of your money or they want to get your credit card details. And I put a fake name, fake address and fake card number and it didn't go through. So it's meaning that they will charge your card. However, remember, this is the least of your worries because once they charge your card, they still have your card number and the CVV code and the expiration date, and they can use that card anywhere in the world. So be advised, don't get scammed. Now, to the point of the title of that video, I report all those links to registers. So this particular website is registered with godaddy.com and I send them email which explain all the scam. I fill out their form and the website is still on. The other address, which was this one, the website is already down. And this provider called Namecheap took that seriously and dealt with that with prompt response. One day, the website was down. GoDaddy.com, six days and scammer still can profit. Before you say, oh, they may not have manpower. Not my problem, they should hire more people. They should employ AI. This is our money, guys. It's my money, it's your money. Everyone can fall for it. And they should take priority. I will show you email I sent. So you may think maybe I didn't explain properly. Uh, maybe I did something uh, not correct. So let me just grab email I sent to GoDaddy. And this is the email. So I said, hi, I am writing to bring to your attention a scam I encountered while selling my car, legitimate car sales website. The purpose of this report is to provide details about the scam and raise awareness to prevent others from falling, from falling victim to, to similar fraudulent activities. And I gave them the background and I gave them the points why I'm thinking it's a scam. Oh, no preview of report, unfamiliar domain, and the false business information payment requirements. Now, false business claims. This is very easy for everyone to check. So on their website, if we go back to homepage, yeah, so let's click on the homepage. They are claiming that they are in business since 2022. And now guys, this is what everyone can do. You open browser, you, you grab your URL, you open the browser and open new tab. 
and type in who is domain in the search toolbar. Now, we click on whois.com and on this website, you see this big search bar. You just copy and paste the domain you want to check, click search, and you have basic information. So you have the name of the domain, who is registered, godaddy.com, when was it registered? And you can see that it was registered on August 22nd, August 22nd, and then climbing the in business since 2022. 2024, 22nd of August. So it's easy to check. And we see if the domain was registered a few days ago. It cannot be legitimate business uh, claiming they are uh, operating since like a few years back. And to summarize, I sent an email. I sent to godaddy.com, they formed the request and they still didn't take the website down. While other providers, they did it as soon as they got a report. So my question is to you, godaddy.com, why? Why is it? Are you profiting from that scammers? Let me know. You can contact me. Uh, you have my email address. You can private message me on the X former Twitter platform. My handle is at angry sysops at angry sysops and you can comment on this video and that's all for uh, for today uh, i hope you like that video leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one bye